Yes, ni hao. Today I'm taking you to my workplace. My name is Asun Warren. I came from Solomon Island. I'm interested on the diabetic side and been working the diabetic ward in my hospital. So I came to here to learn more about nursing care and management about diabetics. Um, go with the nurses world round. I'm interested they so they how they are uh, nursing uh, care and manage with the patients during the first um, handing over or the reports to the other new new shift. Uh, in the doctors world round, I also join with them. So I'm interested with them. Um, they are talk about the patients, how the new um, complaints and then the new symptoms of complaints of the patients. That is the doctors oriented themselves with for the new day in this hospital. So I learned new things like new technologies, like digital things, yes, like uh, the blood pressure, they use the uh, digital um, blood pressures. Also, they keep the records on their computers. I also learned about the other things like monitoring, like CGM readings, giving insulin to insulin pen, injecting the insulin uh, injection pump. Good morning. Good morning. Because he bring the with the CG and in the arm. Okay. Then we can see the glucose of her. Yeah. Yes, because he bring it a small sensor sensor yeah. on his arm. Mm. Yeah. So it's That's the, how the way of the reading of the yes, glucose the, level. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. We also can mm. check the the glucose every day. Every day. Yeah. Yeah. So keeping on records every day. Yes. Yeah. Compared to my country, here's a lot of things are accessible so like taking the blood and collecting the all other specimens or other uh, tests for the patients here are accessible so they can the test for the dead they can also the result will come in the same day in my hospitals cannot do that we can't give the test for especially to the laboratory we can't expect that result come to another day at the first time I came here I feel lonely yeah I feel lonely after one week I feel um, proud of the people here in Guangzhou. It's very interesting to me. So I have my good friend here, Terry from PNG. So um, I can ask you all to go with me to see Terry. Hello. Yes. Hello. Welcome. Yeah. Thank you. Terry is your friend. Uh, yes. yes. It's okay. You're good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. My name is Terry, Soko is my surname. I'm originally from Papua New Guinea and uh, I work as a medical laboratory scientist. So I'm just here for my training. E equipments and everything here is automated, you know. So at back home we're using manual stuff to make, you know, microscopy and manual stuff. But here I see everything is just automated. So I'm, I'm really happy to learn new stuff as well here. And I got my ambition, my goals. Uh, for the hospital that I work for, I will have to go back and try my best to, you know, set up a good microbiology laboratory where we can focus on doing manual stuff because we don't have automated machines and all this and it's it's really complicated and costly for us. I will learn as much as I could so when I go back, I'll teach my colleagues, lab scientists back at home to meet the standard of clinical or medical practice. Actually, it was my privilege to come to China. I haven't tasted any Cantonese food, so I'll be happy if I can taste any time. Sure, we can do that. Hi. Hi. Mm -hmm. Also, we've been Teddy. Let's try. 
try the Cantonese cuisine today, okay? First of all, I will teach you mysteries, skills yeah. of Cantonese people before we have dinner. We use the tea, use the tea to wash our chopsticks, spoon, and bowl, okay? ชาชิวชาชิวชาชิวชาชิวชาชิวชาชิวชาชิวชาชิวชาชิวชาชิวชาชิวชาชิวชาชิวชาชิวชาชิวชาชิวชาชิวชาชิวชาชิวชาชิ